21 teachers graduated from a literacy professional development course during a ceremony held at the Barbies High School last Friday. Shanice Beckles reports. On Friday last, a formal graduation ceremony was held at the Burbies High School for teachers graduating from a literacy professional development course and the special education needs program. The literacy development course, which was first started in 2007 by volunteer service overseas, this year graduated its fifth cohort of teachers in the amount of 21, whilst eight teachers graduated from the special education needs program. There were also 11 adults who graduated from a special parental training class. The graduation commenced with prayers by the gathering of teachers who thanked God for their recent achievement. A few of the graduating teachers were then asked to give an insight of their experience throughout the course. This is something that will stick with me throughout my teaching profession. I want to thank Ms. Dainty for giving me this opportunity to share my It has helped and it has enhanced the whole composition, but we don't have a composition in secondary school called Excel writing. But it is the same concept and it has enhanced my execution of that to the students. And I should say that all of the students that went on, they graduated last month, and almost all of them had grade ones and twos, the Florence one. And I would say I would give some props to the course because it has allowed me to put a little extra ingredient into the whole teaching process. As teachers, when we are in our classroom, we are so busy with trying to get the content over and meeting deadlines that sometimes as teachers we miss this, that the students have certain needs that we don't see and sometimes children act up in a certain way because there are certain problems they have to be in such a program. You cannot miss that opportunity of being educated. Let me be honest with you, when I started CBC, I was just 16, just 17. And the first thing I said we have to do is bring a classroom for you. And I had not, even, not, not a year experience in the classroom. And certain things that were done in the course, I was like, yes, I'm going to do the exam. That was it. It had no recall of value for me. And you know, being a teenager, you know, still not settled into a profession. You're in college, you're still deciding, to, you know, your direction. Finishing CPC and, and you're in the classroom now, I was like, I did these things and, you know, I'm still sharp with some of me. I can't manage to address the learning difficulties of some children in the game. And I was waiting for this opportunity. The teachers and parents were presented with certificates of achievements. Special trophies for notable performances were presented to Ms. Lilawati Dean, Ms. Chevron Pestano, Ms. Sabrina Grant, and Mr. Diodat Jai Prashad. Trophies were also given for outstanding journals. Region 6 Regional Literacy Coordinator, Ms. Simone Dainty, who spearheaded the graduation, offered these comments. These teachers had completed five modules, and those modules were based on phonics, teaching of reading, teaching of comprehension, teaching of spelling, and we also had remediation or remedial reading. The program is actually based on programs that would help our children to improve in the areas of literacy and special education needs. Ms. Dainty noted that the special education needs program equips teachers with the necessary knowledge to better understand their words. Special education needs because we find that we have children in our classes who have learning difficulties and a few of them with learning disabilities. And so to combat this, we think that it is fitting to equip the teachers with the knowledge and skills that will help them to better able to help these children. So we have both classes here. Ms. Mycent Robertson actually runs the special education needs program, but she's not here and so in her absence we are accommodating the graduation of her class as well along with the literacy program. What are the expectations from the teachers that underwent this literacy development and special education needs course? 
Ms. Dainty explains. It is hoped that when our teachers implement the strategies that they have learned in the literacy professional development course and in the special education needs program, that we will have better output from our children. We will have teachers who are able to reach the learning needs and learning styles of the different learners they have and that we'll have children who are exposed to differentiated instructions so that they are better able to function academically and excel in their classrooms. She needs Becker's reporting for Channel 8 News.